I've been cycling to, from, at work for the last 40 years, I'd say. But every day I come within perhaps a second or two, or an inch or two, of very serious trouble. Bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. I want to ride my so the news that six cyclists have been killed on the streets of London in the last two weeks must make every cyclist think again and again. There, but for the grace of God, go I. To ride my bicycle, I want to ride my bike. I want to ride my bicycle, I want to ride it where I like. Can I introduce you to the shortest cycle lane in London? It's, um, I don't know, 25 feet. You see, politicians, I think, are in complete confusion about cycling. On the one hand, yes, they want us to cycle because we're so fat and because we're so unfit. But do they want to spend any money on it? Look, 150 million has been granted this year. That's big by their standards, but to do nothing. Politicians tend to see everything through the eyes of the motorists. But I believe there'll be huge rewards for the first political leader who decides they want to redraw the urban map to favour and prioritise both the pedestrian and the cyclist. I fully accept that there's a pretty good deal of bad behaviour amongst cyclists in the urban jungle, but you won't get good behaviour until you have provision. That means filters on traffic lights, especially for cyclists. It means separated cycleways. It means warning signals on trucks. We respond to our surroundings. And for now, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world.